We'll look at a few problems from 11 to C. Here you're asked to draw a isomer of this straight chain compound. It has five carbons and 12 hydrogens. The isomer that you're to draw only has three carbons in the longest chain. So we will use the carbon tool there to write three carbons. And then I'll use the bond tool quickly to connect those three carbons in the chain. Now according to this formula, we have two carbons left. I've used three of the five. I need to put these other two carbons somewhere on this chain so I don't come up with an identical molecule as I have up here. But keeping in mind, the longest chain needs to have three carbons only. Now it's tempting to possibly put a carbon here and thinking, oh well, it's vertical, not horizontal. So that's different. No, that's just adding to the chain that already is there. So do not add carbons to the end of the chain because you'll just make the chain longer. Here you have to add carbons to the middle of the chain so you won't make the chain longer. So the only place you could put the remaining two carbons is on the middle carbon of this longest chain. So we'll get rid of that and we'll connect the single bond there, single bond there. And notice when a, a carbon is bonded to four other carbons, the C goes away, it disappears, turns into a, a crosshair. And that's identical to what the answer is. Similar problem, but here we have a ring structure. Draw one of the three possible isomers of this cycloalkane structure. The ring is only three carbons large. Well, there are five carbons total, and in your structure you only have one, two, three, four carbons. So you really needed to add just another carbon to the structure. Your ring structure is perfect. You could have put that um, fifth carbon here, or attach it here, or any one of these carbons would have been fine. Let's see what they show here. Okay, they put it on that carbon on the ring, which for you would have been right here, right there. So you were close, you just had it to add one more carbon. Here you're asked to draw a structure for this formula, and they tell you it is a cycloalkane. A cycloalkane is a ring structure. And this ring structure is going to have six carbons that make up the ring. So start off by adding, uh, or drawing six carbons and we're going to connect them to form a ring. Three, four, five, and six. There are six carbons, so C6, and there are two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve hydrogens, so that's it. You did not draw a ring structure, unfortunately. And that's what they had. Of course, their drawing is more symmetrical than mine, but it's still sufficient.